Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Glory. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Glory. Good morning. I'm so excited that y'all are tuning in this morning. I'm so excited that y'all are coming in. Y'all make sure y'all put y'all's location down there in the comments. Y'all come on in. Come on in this morning. All of my divine ones. All my divine ones. All of my beautiful people. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glory be to God. Y'all come on in. Come on in this morning. I ooh, glory be to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you will use me in a mighty way. I decrease, Father, and I ask that you will increase on the inside of me. Toya, get in the back seat. Holy Spirit, take over. And Father, use me. Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to speak before your people, God. Give your people a word that's going to cause them to get up and live today. Give them a word that's going to pull them out of bondage. Give them a word, God, that's going to pull them out of the captivity of the enemy today. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. I thank God for each and every one of you that are coming in. I want to tell you to put your location down there in the comments. If you're watching from the YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you can get your notifications every time I upload a new video to the channel. I'm so excited, so excited to see y'all this morning. Y'all come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Glory be to God. Y'all know I love that eagle, baby. Do you hear me? Anytime you see that eagle, you better think of Toya. You better think of your life, coach. Do you hear me? Because, baby, I talk about that eagle so much. Any, anytime my children see that eagle, I be, but they, be, they be having me about to wreck my car. They, mom, 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 they go an eagle, they go an eagle, they go an eagle. <laughs> they be having me about to wreck my car, baby. And anybody they ride with, if they spot an eagle, baby, y'all going to have trouble on y'all hands. Because when they spot that eagle, it's over. Do you hear me? Even they understand the power of that eagle. Even they understand the authority of that eagle. Because I'm telling y'all, each and every one of you, y'all some eagles this morning. Do you understand me? If there was an animal that you could identify with, if there's anybody that you wanted to scribe, uh, strive to be like, glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the Lord say that it needs to be that eagle. Either the lion or or the eagle do you understand me because one thing about that lion he dominates in his territory on the ground glory be to god he dominates his territory on the ground and one thing about that eagle that eagle dominates in the in the sky the eagle dominate the sky baby and that lion dominate on the ground do you hear me and god said i have placed he said i told you I, when i made you i made you in my image and i made you in my likeness glory be to god and i hear the spirit of the lord say that i called you to dominate god said when i created you he said i gave you power i gave you authority and i gave you dominion somebody go down there in the comments i need you to say it today i need you to say dominion uh-huh i have dominion you know what dominion is dominion means authority god says you have dominion over these problems do you understand me he said you have dominion over your circumstances you have dominion glory be to god i just heard the spirit of the lord say that many of you are dealing with ailments in your body you dealing you dealing with sicknesses diseases in your body uh-huh i hear the lord say you have dominion over this sickness do you understand that you have authority but the lord said you don't know you see he said if you don't know that you're going to perish because of the lack of knowledge. So God said, it's time for us to shift into knowledge today. Y'all know what I've been telling y'all about that knowledge. It's time for us to shift and get that knowledge today. Glory be to God. Because a lot of us, a lot of us are perishing. A lot of us are dying. We are physically and spiritually dying because we are living outside of the knowledge of God. We don't know the knowledge of God. All we have is our religion. All we have is religion. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say that religion is not going to be able to save you. Do you understand me? Religion is not going to be able to bring you out of that mess that you in. You got to take authority. Do you understand me? You keep sitting out on the church beach with your Bible thinking that the devil going to leave you alone because you go to church. Thinking that the devil going to leave you alone because you on somebody's roster. I just heard the spirit of the Lord say you better use your dominion power. Do you hear me? You better take authority over these situations. That's one thing I love about that eagle, baby. That eagle is going to take authority. 
That ego has that has that authority, that spirit of authority. It has that dominion spirit. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. And the Lord said, it's time for us to wake up that spirit of leadership on the inside of you. And a lot of y'all thinking that a leader means that you got to have followers. A leader don't mean you got to have followers because a, a eagle is a leader and he fly all by himself. Y'all ain't hearing me in here today. Anytime you see that eagle, baby, you ain't going to catch him with no flock. He don't need a whole bunch of followers. He don't need a whole bunch of people flying with him, patting him on his back. Y'all got to catch this thing in the spiritual realm now. Everything that I'm telling you, you got to learn how to apply this to your life in the spiritual realm glory be to god we got to come out for the surface and we got to come out for the shore because we've been scratching around on the surface we've been trying to take everything literally but god said i want i want you to come out of the literal world and i want you to begin to take this up in the spirit i want you to get in that's what i just heard the spirit of the lord say he said let he who has an ear hear what the spirit is saying to the church not to a building but what it's saying what the spirit is saying to your bodies today because your body is the temple in which the spirit of the lord dwells you are the church, beloved. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live. Say, I am the church. Mm -hmm. I am the church. I am the I am the body. I am the body that God's spirit desires to dwell in. I am the body that God's spirit desires to live in. The spirit, come on, somebody. I need y'all to catch this today in the spirit realm. Glory be to God. And the Lord says what will happen is, he said, and everybody that's coming in, I need y'all to share this live. Because the Lord says what will happen is, once you accept your spirit, once you accept your spirit of leadership, and once you come into your dominion power, the Lord says, then you will realize that you are above all of these things that you've been dealing with. See, the Lord say you entertaining things. You still sitting in the midst of things. You still dealing with things because you have a lack of knowledge of who you are. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say, realize who you are today. Take your dominion power and understand that you are an eagle and it's time for you to fly above this stuff. Glory be to God. Let me tell y'all something. Before I understood who I was, I found myself entertaining stuff that I didn't have no business entertaining. I found myself going back and forward with people that I didn't have no business going back and forward with. And understand this, it does not mean that you're better than anybody because we are all made in the image and the likeness of God. So it don't mean you're better than nobody. But you got to these folks that don't know they are in God. You can't allow them to pull you down to their level. Do you understand me? Don't allow these folks to pull you down to their level. If they want to live outside of who God says they are, you leave them right there. And don't you go back and forward with them. Don't you be petty with them. Don't you engage in drama with them. And they're going to make they're gonna make it seem like, oh, she thinks she better than somebody. Oh, he thinks he better than somebody. No, baby, I don't think I'm better than nobody. But you ought to feel like you better than this stuff that you entertaining. Don't get mad at me because I ain't going to come down there and entertain it with you. Come on now. That's what you got to tell this spirit. That's what you got to tell this stuff. Glory be to God. Don't get mad at me because I ain't going to come down to your level and entertain. God said fly above that drama. Do you hear me? Somebody said I'm flying above the drama today because I'm an eagle. Glory be to God. Y'all drop them eagle emojis down there in the comments and tell the devil. Say I'm flying above this drama today. You will not. The devil is a lie by devil with your ugly self. You will not pull me down to your level. Come on now. You will not pull me down and, and have me flying below my means. So one thing about an eagle is an eagle was built for high places. An eagle was built for high places. Glory be to God. And I hear the spirit of the Lord say that many of you, you are eagles now. Don't get it twisted. You are eagle. But you've been flying down there where the chickens at. You've been flying. You've been trying to scoop down there low. Because it's some down there in the chicken coop that you still attracted to. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here today. It's some down there in the chicken coop. You like the way it cluck. You like the way it walk. Come on now. You like the way that thing walk around down there on the ground. When God done called you to be in high places. I feel the spirit of God. God said, I done called you to fly high. God said, why are you still down here flying low? Why is you still down here walking low? Let me tell y'all. When I went through that season of my life where I was walking low, I found myself like the prodigal son, baby. Do you hear me? I found myself in situations and circumstances and relationships and battles with people going back and forth in this physical realm with folks. Let me tell you something, baby. You better, you better get out of this world. Do you hear me? Because the Bible says as Christians, as people of God, as children of the King, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Glory be to God. And I hear the spirit of the Lord say, you got to learn how to live in the world, but not be of the world because if you try to live in the world let me tell y'all baby 
It's like going out as sheep amidst the wolves. These folk will chew you up and spit you out. Do you understand me? You try to live outside of the will of God, you're going to be just like a fish trying to live outside of water. Glory be to God. You're going to be just like a bird that they done threw in the ocean. You out of your elements. Do you understand me? When you are a child of the king, when God has a calling on your life, when you are a child of greatness and you try to live outside of the will of God, you try to go do things your way, you out of your element. And the Lord says you're flying too low. I feel the power of God. He said, anytime you try to go do something other than what I told you to do, you are out of your element and you're flying too low. God said, many of us, he said, we still entertaining friendships and we, and all of this stuff, these people are beneath you. Come on now, beloved. God said, these things are beneath you. He said, you still clapping back. These folks still, and these folks still saying stuff to push your buttons. Let me tell you something. The devil ain't got no bending pushing your buttons because you shouldn't have no buttons for him to push. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here today. The devil ain't got... I been out here... To, I been out here now, divine one, talking about the devil and push my button. You shouldn't have no more buttons for him to push. Do you hear me? You ought to be so far in the things of God. You ought to be flying so high that the devil can't even locate you. He can't even find you. He just like that chicken that keep jumping up out the ground trying to catch that eagle every time that eagle come through. But that eagle flying so high, baby, that that chicken can't even touch that eagle. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, you ought to be flying so high in this season that you don't even hear what these folks say about you. You still trying to figure out. See, you want to serve God, but you still want to keep your ear to the world. Uh-huh. You want to be in your purpose, but you still want to keep your ear to the world. You still want to listen to what baby daddy said. Come on now. You still want to listen. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here today. Oh, I'm going to hit your number. You still want to listen to what uh, that, that that same person that you always went back and forth with. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, that's beneath you, beloved. God said, you got to fly above that. He said, well, I'm calling you to in this season. God said, I need you. I need you to have, get rid of that spirit of clap back. Get rid of that spirit of clap back because some of us, we so proud. We, we, we so full of pride. Come on now. We so full of pride and we so full of ourselves that we, it, it, that we can't let nobody feel like they got one up on us. We got to get them a piece of our mind. We got to tell these folks off on their job. We got to go back and forth with these folks in traffic. We got to get these folks a piece of our mind. We got to do God said fly above that stuff. Do you hear me? He said that stuff is beneath you, baby. You an eagle. Glory be to God. Stuff that our people that I used to go back and forth with, I used to sit there and be petted with them folks, baby. Them folks don't even cross my mind today. Do you hear me? I I wish them well. I tell them I love you. God bless you and bye. Because I'm flying above this stuff. That's an eagle. Do you hear me? And God said an eagle ain't got no bend to being in the company of chickens. You ain't, you can't follow your purpose and you sitting around with folks that don't know what they doing. That ain't, they don't know their purpose. Don't know their gifts. I don't, I don't want to talk about God. Every time you start talking about God, they, I'm not, uh, 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 go on, baby. I don't want to hear that. Mm-mm. Oh, God, yeah, uh, here she come with all this. Uh-huh, that's a chicken. Somebody said, that's a chicken. Do you hear me? That's a chicken, baby. And an eagle ain't got no business sitting around no chicken. God said, you better get up and fly high. Glory be to God. And one thing I learned, this is what I learned. See, you got to understand where your power is. Your power is in the air. Do you hear me? Because you're an eagle. Your, in other words, in the spirit realm, your power is in your, uh, your dominion, your authority in God. That's where your power is, in your dominion and in your authority in God. You cannot come down out of your power, out of your authority. You can't come down in the chicken coop and try to influence a chicken. Do you hear me? The only way that you're going to be able to influence a chicken is just by being who you are in God, baby. You don't, you, let, let me break the God. Give me uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to break the thing down like you put it in my spirit. Glory be to God. You need to just be you. So many times we leave out of our element. We leave out of where God is calling us to be because we want to go and influence somebody. We want to go change somebody. We want to go help somebody to see God. And in the process of you trying to help them come to God, you done lost God. Because you, you got to understand that you done, you can't leave out of your element and try to influence a chicken. You an eagle, beloved. You ain't got no bending down now in the chicken coop. You, you look crazy. I'm telling y'all some real stuff now. You look crazy as an eagle. And you down there in the chicken coop and you trying to show the chicken how to fly and how to come up and come to the mountaintop. He ain't never going to be nothing but what he is, baby. That's the chicken. 
Glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, she ain't going to be nothing more than what she is. That's a chicken. Do you hear me? And God says, stop trying to change these folks. Stop trying to save these folks that don't want to be saved. You're going to ruin your anointing. You're going to mess yourself up because you're trying to fly so low. You're trying to go down there and scoop them up. God said, you need to just stay in your element. God said, keep doing the things that I told you to do. Stay within the will of God for your life and you keep flying above all this stuff, baby. And one thing about it and two things for sure, they're going to get tired of seeing you come by. They're going to get tired of seeing you fly high. And if it's something in them to change, they will wake up and they will change. Do you hear me? In other words, don't be putting your life on hold for these folks, baby. You got to go on and do what God told you to do. You ain't got time to be coming down, scooping down, trying to pick them up when there's a calling on your life. There's a purpose on your life. And every one of you that are under the sound of my voice, I hear the spirit of the Lord say, greatness is upon you. God said the spirit of greatness is all on y'all today. Do you hear me? And God said, if you will accept this calling, he said, I want to come into a covenant with you today. And the Lord said, I want to give you my spirit of greatness. I want you to walk in greatness. But God said, you can't walk in greatness if you still down there feeling around in the chicken coop. Glory be to God. And we done all been down there in the chicken coop. I don't care how anointed you are. Glory be to God. With your anointed self. You ain't come out the womb like that. Come on now. I don't care how, how religious you are. I don't care how many credentials you got. I don't care what your rank is in the spiritual realm. We done all been down there in that chicken coop, baby. But God said when you know better, you got to do better. Glory be to God. Come on now. The chicken coop is anytime you living below your means in God. Anytime you living outside of the will of God for your life. Uh huh. Somebody said that's the chicken coop. Glory be to God. And it's time for you to come out of that today, baby. It's time for you to fly high. I feel the power of God. God said it's time. And I just heard the spirit of the Lord say each and every one of you lay hands on yourself right now. Come on now. I need you to lay. I need you to do this in the spiritual realm. And I need you to accept this today. Glory be to God. God said lay hands upon yourself today. I just heard the spirit of the Lord say prophesy to these bones Woo! tell these dry bones to get up and live come on now tell these dry bones to hear ye the word of the Lord tell these dry bones that we flying above all this mess today come on now I want you to lay hands on yourself and I want you to prophesy to yourself I want you to prophesy to this situation that you in prophesy to this devil that's sitting on you tell the devil say devil get up off of me I'm headed to greatness come on now I'm headed to the promised land I'm flying above all this mess baby you ain't gonna have me down in the chicken coop Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You're not going to have me down in the chicken coop. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The devil is a lie. Do you hear me? Don't let him have you down there in the chicken coop, baby. Come on now. God said, I'm calling you out of that, beloved. He said, I'm calling you I'm calling you to something higher. I'm calling you to something greater. Woo. I just heard the spirit of the Lord say, greatness is upon your life. God said, many of you, he said, you are on the brink of greatness. Woo. I just heard the spirit of the Lord speak that in my spirit. God said, you are on the brink of greatness. God said, you getting ready to tap into something that your family members never thought you would tap into. You getting ready to come into a realm. Oh my God, I just heard the spirit of the Lord say that I am taking you into a new dimension. Do you hear me? God said, you are coming into a new dimension. He said, I'm taking you into a realm where your enemies are going to see you, but they are not going to be able to touch you. God said, that's why I need you to get rid of this clapback spirit. Because God said, these folks ain't going to never stop talking, beloved. They're going to always have something to say about you. Let me tell y'all something. As anointed as I am, do you hear me? I can do all the prophesying I want to do. I can do all the preaching I want to do, but it's still going to be something that gonna speak ill to me. It's still gonna be somebody that ain't gonna have nothing good to say about me. Y'all better get what I'm saying. It's still gonna be somebody that the devil gonna use because everybody don't want to come out the chicken coop. But just because they want to stay down there in the chicken coop don't mean I'm gonna stay with them. Bye, devil. You finna see me flying all over, baby. Y'all tell these folks I'm gonna be flying all over. If God told me to go, baby. I'm gonna be everywhere. Come on now. I'm gonna be everywhere that the Spirit of the Lord sent me. And God said, them folks that ain't never got nothing good to say about you, God said, they still gonna be clucking around down there in the chicken coop. And you're gonna be flying all over the world, beloved. That's what God will do for you when you get in your purpose. But you got to forget about these folks. You got to let these folks go, baby. Word, don't worry. Yeah, they talking, but you shouldn't be listening. Yeah, they posting, but you shouldn't be watching. Stop looking at this stuff and get rid of these folks that be sending y'all this stuff. Because that's a chicken. Oh, y'all don't want to hear that. Get rid of that, baby. Don't these folks still sending you screenshots? They still sending you messages. They still they still sending you this stuff that's gonna agitate your spirit. They not and, and when you, and if you notice when you go to talk about your purpose, they got to get off the phone with you. Then they don't want to talk to you. Then oh, baby, my my meat burning on the stove. I call you back. 
Uh huh. But as soon as y'all talking about mess, as soon as you talking about drama, as soon as they sending you some stuff, what somebody done said about you, what somebody done posted about you, what a family member done said about you, they all for that. They'll stay on the phone with you two and three hours when it comes to mess. God said, that's a chicken. Do you hear me? He said, that's a chicken. You better cut them off where they stand, baby. Cause where you going, you ain't got no room for nobody like that. Get rid of them folks. Let me tell y'all, I done made up in my mind. I don't care if I got to walk all by myself. I don't care if everybody walk off and leave me. And I ain't got nobody but this wall right here to look look at and talk to and preach to. I'm going to go on with my life and I'm going to move on with my purpose. And God said, that's when you qualify for greatness. When you done made up in your mind, God, if I got to get there all by myself, I'm not going to stop. Come on now. I'm going I'm to get there or I'm going to die trying. Glory be to God. And I told God, I said, they'll put it on my tombstone. They'll say, here lies the woman that died in beast mode, baby. Here lies the woman that didn't never give up, baby. She was trying to get there. And, 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 and I'm going to get there too, devil. You a lie. And that's what y'all got to tell the devil. Tell the devil today. Say, I'm going to get there. Glory be to God. I'm not going to stop until I reach my destiny. I'm not going to stop until I reach my purpose. Come on now. You got to fly above all this stuff. Because the devil going to always be throwing something at you. He know, he know what tick you off. He know what make, he know what upsets you now. And he'll get in these children too. He'll get in these children too. And he'll have these children to do things to upset you. But you got to have that spirit of discernment. You got to be able to look at that and know what that is. That's not your child. That's a spirit. You got to know when the adversary, you got to know when your child is being used by the adversary. Come on now. God said, you got to learn. He said, now you, it's all right when you didn't know, but now you know the things of God. Now you know the way that, the, now you know that you are not fighting against flesh and blood, but you are wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. Come on now. This is a spiritual battle that you facing. So you got to understand that you got to fly a bull today. Glory be to God. I just heard the spirit of the Lord say you got to fly above this drama. Oh, God said you got to fly above all that negativity. Some folks, they just, they just, uh, like Tony Gaskin say, they got that bed to deal for spirit. Do you understand me? They got that bed to deal for spirit, baby. Glory be to God. Every time you turn around, every time you turn around, they bet, I, they got that bed, they, 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 they disagreeing with what you saying. Oh, they, they, they want to debate with you on what you say. That's a chicken, baby. Lead them folks where they at. You an eagle fly above all that mess. Come on now. God said you ain't got time for that. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Fly above it today. What you still entertaining? And y'all ain't subscribed to my YouTube. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to my YouTube. Because on my YouTube channel, that the video that I posted yesterday, I was telling you to take spiritual inventory over your life. And I need you to make sure you do that, beloved. Take spiritual inventory over your life. Go from A to Z with everything and everybody and every uh, every problem, every addiction, every habit, every uh personality trait, everything. Take whole inventory over your life in all areas of your life. And if that behavior, if that person, that place, that thing, if it's not serving you, if it's not pouring into you, if it's not causing you to walk in your purpose, God said you need to exit off your list today. You need to scratch that stuff off your list. In other words, you need to move it out of your life. Tell it, I love you, God bless you, and bye. Everybody say that. I want everybody to say that. Just say it, baby. Say it one good time. I love you, God. Bless you, and bye. Glory be to God. Because I can't keep flying low, baby. I got to come out the chicken coop today. Come on now. I got to fly above all this stuff. Because you know what? God said, where I'm taking you at. He said, you're going to meet people like this all the time, beloved. This ain't nothing but a test. Come on now. These folks trying to get a reaction out of you. They trying to push your buttons. They trying to poke on your spirit. They trying to tamper with your anointing. God said that's a chicken, baby. And he said if you can't handle that chicken right now, you telling me that you are not ready for elevation. You are not ready to go higher. You, We keep telling God, God bless me, God elevate me. But every time a chicken come clucking up, there you go going back and forth with that chicken. There you go. You back and forth with that chicken. And now it might not be somebody you going back and forth with drama with, but it might be a co-worker. It might be somebody in traffic that cuts you off. Come on now. It might be somebody in your house that say something to push your button. God says stop going back and forth with this stuff. Glory be to God. Stop going back and forth with it and fly above it. Fly above it. Understand that everything don't deserve your attention. Everything don't deserve a reaction from you. And everything don't deserve a response from you. 
I get so many stuff, so much stuff come at me. So many different spirits come at me. Do you understand me? And I have to learn how to just keep on flying. You can't listen, listen to me, beloved. When you are eagle and you flying, see that God said that's the problem. We don't know how to handle all of this stuff that coming at us. We don't know how to handle all this unwanted attention. Some of it wanted, some of it unwanted. Whatever, wherever it fall, let on your list. God said you got to learn how to see it and go on about your business. Do you hear me? Stop thinking, Jack, because they call your name that you got to respond. Stop thinking, Jack, because they sign like they talking about you. They speaking indirectly, but it sign like you. You ain't even got no business looking at that stuff. Why is you even sitting there reading that? You need to be somewhere in your purpose, beloved. Come on now. You got to fly above that stuff. It's time to come out the chicken coop today now. Come on now. You ain't got no business scrolling a news feed. You need to be somewhere in your purpose. It's people that's dying that need your gift. They need what you got. God put a gift in you. And you sitting there in the chicken coop down there with them folks. Worry about what the latest news is. Worry about who talking about who. God, come on out of that. Now you got to come out of that stuff. David said, when I was a child, I acted as a child. I spake as a child. Come on now. I conducted myself as a child. But when I became a man, come on now. In other words, it come a time in your life where you got to let that stuff go. You got to let go of that drama. You got to let go of that mess. Come on now. You got to let go of that negativity. You got to let go of evil. And you got to begin to walk in the goodness of God. You got to begin to walk according to the will for your life. When you become a man, when you become a woman, you put away them childish things. God said that is childish. Do you hear me? He said that is childish, beloved. Put away that stuff and get into your purpose. Come on now. Get into your purpose. Glory be to God. Some of this stuff that the devil putting you putting in front of y'all, you shouldn't even be in no position to even be at for that stuff to be able to reach you. It's so many stuff. People be trying to send me. They be trying to get it to me. Uh uh, beloved. And you you not finna bring no spirits on me. That why that what y'all gotta tell these folks. You have, that's the mindset you gotta have, baby. Cause see, when you doing the will of God for your life, Satan gonna always be trying to come through somebody to stop you from your purpose. He gonna always be trying to y'all ever felt motivated to do something for God. And then somebody came and called your phone, or they said something to you, or they walked in the house and they spoke something to you, then all of a sudden you just don't even you just mad. You just don't even what God had just told you to do, you lost your momentum. You done lost your motivation. You just sitting there like, you know what I'm saying? You just done lost, the, the, you, the spirit just done left you. You ain't even with it no more. You don't even want to read your Bible no more. You don't even want to pray no more. You ain't even studying the things of God no more. Do you hear me? God said, come out of the chicken coop today. Don't even put yourself in no position, beloved. You got to be flying so high in God that these folk can't even reach you. The devil trying to get a report to you. He trying to get you to read a status. He trying to get you to read the latest gossip. But you ought to be flying so high in God that even the devil test results don't affect you you could be sitting in the doctor's office and the doctor say you got this the doctor say you got that well just because he said that what you got don't mean you got to agree with that beloved come on now whose report will you believe you got to fly above this stuff even if your bank account say zero come on now even when your bank i don't know about y'all but i talk to my stuff I talk to my stuff and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon my stuff. And anytime my stuff ain't lining up to what God say I know I'm supposed to have and I know I'm supposed to be, baby, I go to speaking from that dominion. I go to speaking from that authority and I call the blessing, baby. I declare the blessing of God over my life, over my children, over my bank account. Devil, you a lie. God said you better fly above this stuff. God said even with poverty. He said you a child of God and abundance is your birthright. God said you ain't got no business being broke. Do you hear me? You ain't got no bending, penny pinching. God said that stuff is beneath you. He said fly above that stuff today. Glory be to God. Fly above it. Do you hear me? I love y'all. Oh, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all with a divine love. All of you, you are my brothers and my sisters in Christ. And I love y'all. And I'm calling you out this chicken coop today, baby. You got to fly above. Do you hear me? You got to come out of all of this stuff. Glory be to God. The will of God is, the, is for your life. The will of God is for your for the for the best version of you. Because God is calling you out of this stuff that you're in. Because God said you're not being your best self. You're not being who I made you to be. You're not living in the full authority and the full potential and purpose that God has for your life. Come out of that chicken coop. Come out of there. And when you come out of there, you're going to make a couple chickens mad. So what? Y'all say that in the comments. Say, so what? You got to get that so what spirit, baby. I might, I step on folk told. A lot of folk don't listen to me. A lot of folk don't, um, a lot of folks don't agree with what I'm saying. And that's fine. Because God didn't assign me to them. 
And, and a lot of folks feel like I be stepping on their toes and I'm doing this and I'm coming up against everything they've been taught and everything they've been listening to in their religion and the way they think stuff's supposed to be and always supposed to be. Whatever, baby. So what? You got to have that so what spirit. Do what God said. Do what God told you to do. Stop worrying about what these folks telling you to do because these folks don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. Do you hear me? You better do what God told you to do. Tell these folks today, say, so what? So what? Come on now. Come on now because they done called you everything but a child of God. They done said you're going you to be this, you're going to be that. Say, so what? So what, baby? I'm going to do what God told me. I'm a, and, and, and then after that, I want you to say, I am who God says I am. So what, devil? Bye with your ugly self. Come on now. I am who God says I am. Glory be to God. And I'm going to tell you something. Your past ain't got nothing to do with where you going. Your past ain't got nothing to do with your future. Do you hear me? God said I allowed you to go through that stuff. Come on now. To make you to be the person that you are today. And God said I have shaped you. I have molded you into something beautiful. I have shaped you into a masterpiece. The Bible says all things work together for the good. To them that love God. Come on now. To them that are called according to his purpose. I I know you done been through some things in your life, beloved, but God said that stuff worked together for your good. It worked for your good when they lied on you, when they got you fired. Come on now. When you had that baby, that baby at an early age, when you had to, when you divorced. Come on now. When you went through that breakup, when you went through that sickness that the doctor told you you weren't going to make it out of. Come on now. Y'all got some powerful testimonies in here today. And I just heard the spirit of the Lord say everything the devil throw on you is going to work together for your good because you are eagle. And eagles fly high. They fly above all that petty mess. Glory be to God. I love y'all. I want y'all to go to my website, LatoyaOkeelMinistries.com. Um, also, I want you to make sure you go to my YouTube channel. It's the same as my Facebook name, Latoya O'Keel. If you have not subscribed, y'all listen, I need you to subscribe to the channel, okay? I need you to subscribe to the channel because there are a lot of people that watch the videos, but they're not subscribed. And I know how that is. We'll just watch a video and we just don't even think about that. But that little button that's right down there that says subscribe. Click that button, y'all, and subscribe. And don't stop there. After you subscribe, I need you to hit that bell so you can get your notifications, okay? So every time, And I upload to the channel every single day. Every day I'm uploading to the channel. So I want you to get these videos that are not, some of them are not on Facebook. Some of them are on Facebook, but it's a lot of stuff on the YouTube channel that's not on Facebook. So I want y'all to get this, okay? Glory be to God. Now, if y'all can remember, back when I first started Morning Glory, for those of you that have been faithfully watching me, and I want and I thank God for you all that have faithfully watched me. Y'all been right here ever since the beginning of Morning Glory, ever since the beginning of the Divine Ones. Y'all have been right here. Glory be to God. And I'm so appreciative. I thank God for you, and I love you so much. Glory be to God. I love you so much. But listen... Listen, y'all. Listen, I have to make an announcement, okay? For where this next season, where we're going, I will not be live at the same time every day on Facebook, okay? Now, listen, you still going to see me every day. <laughs> you still going to see me in some way every day, but I will not be live at the exact same time, Monday through Friday, every day on Facebook. So listen, y'all, there's more than there's more that I have than just my Facebook live. And that's why I'm pushing y'all to make sure that you've subscribed to the YouTube channel. And I'm pushing you to make sure that you go and listen to my podcast and make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. So because I'm telling y'all, you're going to I'm going to show up on one of those platforms every single day. But for where for like with the, with the schedule with my kids and everything that, you know, we about to have to deal with with school and all of that stuff. I cannot you know, guarantee that I'm going to be live at the same time every day. Cause it's, it's just, it's just too much and I don't want to burn out. So listen, y'all make sure y'all are uh, following my personal profile. Okay. Make sure you're following me. Make sure your notifications are turned on, on the Facebook page. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and your notifications are turned on. So even, so even if you don't get a live on Facebook that day, You'll get, you may get a video on the YouTube channel that day. You're going to see me somewhere, okay? Even if it's a podcast episode or something. You're going to see me. You're going to hear me from somewhere, beloved, okay? I'm still going to show up every day. Glory be to God. But it, it just don't look for it to be at the same exact time every morning because I'm not, I'm not going to be able to 
continue with that due to everything with the kids and everything y'all know y'all know as single mothers y'all know how it is but y'all still gonna see me every day okay so i love y'all so much y'all be blessed y'all be blessed i check in with y'all uh now listen listen this is this is effective today okay this is effective today and y'all remember back when I was telling y'all about morning glory, I told, I said that, that, that it was only going to be for a season. Y'all remember when I said, who remember when I said that? <laughs> who remember when I spoke that a few months ago and I said that it's only going to be for a season, that when the Lord gave it to me, he told me that it would only be for a season. It would only be a, for a certain amount of time. Now, that does not mean that that's the end of morning glory. We still going to have morning glory. It's still, you're still going to get lies from me in the mornings. But you know what? When Without it being that uh, me showing up at the same time every day, you'll probably hear more from me when it's not like that. Because a, a lot of days, that time right there is just, you know, with me doing everything with the kids and stuff, it's just not going to be a good time for me. So you may hear from me at noon or you may hear from me that night, but you're going to hear from me, beloved. Okay? Because <laughs> I love y'all so much, baby. So you're going to hear from me every day. But you got to make sure that you're subscribed and you're following and all your notifications are on so you don't miss nothing. Okay? So I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I truly thank God for y'all. I truly thank God for y'all supporting me, for y'all praying for me. And I'm praying for y'all. I'm pushing y'all forward in prayer in this season. I love each and every one of you. Y'all know what I always tell y'all. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. With God, all things are possible. All things are possible, okay? So I'll check in with y'all next time.